This is my death row meal and it's a very close fight to There is no other meal that after I eat already, I got that feeling like ah. Food Finders! Welcome back to another episode of Food Finders. This episode, we are actually doing a special collaboration. The theme of today, post drink supper sports episode. We have our friends from Meat Men to join us. <laughs> You're drunk already, yeah? A bit drunk already, yeah, bro. No, la, no, la, no. La. Still too early, still too early. All right, I'm John from the Meat Men. Um... I'm John from the Meat Man and I'm a content creator. I usually do the cooking that they all enjoy very much and I really sometimes enjoy a drink or two. So uh, I'm Dixon from the Meat Man channel. Uh, you might not see me as much on the camera. I used to do a little bit of content. Uh, I got a channel called Zeng It, but then I stopped doing because I do a lot more back-end things. I also country manager for the Singapore office. Yeah. Wait, so why why you volunteer to come today? So yeah, I really, really on. like the Food Finder series also. Oh. Of course, so happy to have this opportunity. We are here. You are here no. Finally got invited. I... Today's spots will be introduced by John. Yes. How you picked these spots we're gonna try today? Every time after you drink mass, eat something, then after you can shook, then go home. Eh? No, you're hungry, go home, sleep, not shook. Criteria is must open late, la, of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Food, of course, must be tasty, must be Comfort. hearty. Must be yes. Comfort, uh... Okay, before we go and try, ah, uh, why you got okay. ice cream back, bro? Ah, uh, yeah, we got eat ice cream. Ah, uh, no, no, uh, like, like, uh, ice, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Wait, are we downing this now? Finish the bottle first. Wow, hey, post drink new. Simulate the simulate drink. the <laughs> condition. Ah, uh, if not, how is this post drink? Are we doing like a timing thing? No la, slowly drink la. Okay. I've been known to be very wait, fast. Wait, I can open. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One. Damn, you guys are fast. <sighs> excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Can we edit that? Uh, edit that out, please. Edit that out. <laughs> okay, I nice. think we are ready, Eddie. Post drink supper episode. Let's go to the first part. Alright, so first part of the day, we are at White House Teochew Mui. Second generation running the place now, family business. Last year, I think, started opening until 3 a.m. And that's when I discovered this place. I saw it on TikTok quite often, so I came and then it became my favorite Teochew Mui, hands down. Because they get their braises very, very well done. My family used to sell braised duck. Not used to, still selling. <laughs> and I think can fight. Can fight. Can fight. Can fight. His family do brace one and he say this one's super good. Huh? Wow, I really wow, want to wow, try wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so all the food is here, but of course, we are going to play some mini games. This game is called 1 over 16. Literally, it's like my super. La. There's only one bomb out of the 16 buttons. If you avoid pressing the bomb, then you clear next per to the next person. But if let's say you cannot the bomb, then jingle. So we can literally bet the amount of button yeah. we want to press yes. and the amount of seats you want to drink. Okay. First round, if we can then double. double. So if we bet four seats, then the person might drink eight seats. I start two, two first. Two sips, simple. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what the? It's so sweet, man. <laughs> oh, it's not really sweet, it's not really sweet. Two sips. Can't be so sweet, ba. Okay. Ah. Four okay. button, four sips. Huh? Tiba boom. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, he drink eight sips, man. Eight sips. We come here eat Teochew Mui one eh. After drinking ma. Again, we need to uh, simulate the after drinking effect. Four again no? Oh. And so you have to keep pressing ah. Uh. Eh? Actually you are right oh. There's only... Okay, oh! Uh. Never mind. Just nice. Except, one each. Yes. Just nice. One each. One each. Nice. Cheers Cheers guys. Cheers guys. Wow. Cheers guys. Cheers guys. Cheers Cheers Very good. Very good. Must try the fish first. Sien Cai. Salted mm. mustard greens. Tomatoes. Chilies. Mm. Usually they put plum, but I don't see the plum. Maybe it's below. Yeah. It's so sweet, yeah. eh, the fish meat. Mm. This is the first time I try the fish. Because oh, usually okay. I come at night, you didn't know yeah. more fish already. Yeah. What Daryl said just now, their teochew mui is not the cooked until very poor one. You can see, you still see the rice grains. At least you get a bit of bite, a bit of textural contrast. Whoa, dude, a lot. I have something to say about this duck. I really think they do it very slow and low heat for a long amount. Oh. Is that the from what I know about cooking duck, low and slow, then you can get this texture. The meat fibers are very separated, very tender. The intermuscular meat, right, is actually more separated than 
a dense piece of meat. So this one is so easy to bite. Then they cut it so thinly, very tender. The braised flavor on point. So if you take a bite, then after that some of the sauce can on your lip, right? They got the sticky sticky texture, you know? The collagen, the collagen, the collagen. Their yeah, braised sauce is very, very good. Wow, really got effort this one. Okay, pork belly also. Very good. Dude, it's prime time one eh. Very quickly uh. For me, a bit on the plain side, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Also, another bomb. Heavy helm with the porridge oh. is... I like yeah. the heavy helm because... Eh, hey, pork lard! Yes! What the hell? They mix the pork lard inside hey, the heavy helm. I usually eat heavy helm, but how come this heavy helm you need to put like the lime, the calamansi? Yeah, yeah to cut the heaviness mask because they mix with pork lard. Oh, it's actually very good eh. Uh, we're gonna try the main side now. This one, he got secret yeah. technique. John, what secret does he do? The tray of mei chai, they'll put under the hanging ducks. Then the fat from the ducks will drip onto the mei chai. So one thing about this mei chai, right? Usually sometimes you go outside one, a bit too salty. That means they never process the mei chai properly, never wash and all that. Right. This one, the flavor is very balanced. Yeah. yeah, you got the fattiness from the duck fat. Yeah, so I was about to say, actually the mei chai, right? A little bit on the lighter salty, tasting yeah. side compared salty. to all the other mei chai we usually eat, right? Lao Pan Daryl say, cannot have a meal without egg. I think inside got like something, right? Yeah, it looks like got something inside, oh, yeah. I think it's just egg, yeah. Just egg, lor. <laughs> I think I'm not experienced in this food finders thing. I eat a bit fast. It's like a common food one. <laughs> so I think I usually don't eat Teochew Mei, right? But coming here, I realized actually Teochew Mei got quite a good spread of dishes. And I think that's what unique about Teochew Mei. And I think this shop in particular, all of their dishes are like own self made one. Uh. Every dish got their own unique taste and flavor. And everything is done actually very well. I don't need to say much. Okay, I already said from the start, right? This is my favorite one. Teochew Mei. So I, I've been here before, so we've also featured them. <laughs> so, this is it for uh, White House. We are going to the next, next location. location. Yeah. Second spot, we are now at Hao Zhang Ji. Hey, why, why are we here in Geelang? Yeah, this second spot is recommended by me. So, we actually stumbled upon this place after drinking nearby down there. 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 So, we were looking for like good Chinese food. <laughs> so we were looking for chi good Chinese food and then because the typical place that we go opposite the street was closed then we found this place which was boom shocking after you drink then you just want something that is very warm then like a blanket like that oh I can sleep already after that Wow, that was tough, man. I, I cannot speak Chinese very well. So, how do you order here? It's like the Ben King song, Zeke Naga, Zeke Naga. Cut in the song. Uh. So, the producer will have a secret number that we need to avoid guessing. If you guess that number, you drink. Uh, you drink. Okay. Hey, Seth, Why? Masu the pa pa Oh. Uh, then they... Uh, like, like not good eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1 to 100 50 1 to 50. 25 27 33 33 40 36 36 to 40 39 Is it 39? Oh yes! my god! 38! 36 to 38! Ah! 38 lor. 37 oh, lor. <laughs> this guy's drunk already <laughs> lor. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Man. We need to give the viewers like a big disclaimer. Usually when we come here like in the wee hours, the plating not so nice. So I don't know, I don't know what I, to I do. I was just wondering like, hey, the presentation so nice one. This one this usually thing? is in a bowl. La. This whole thing I first time see also. <laughs> <laughs> then we have like all the different chuan chuan skewers that we order. Yeah. Not sure what is it. We ordered some so, lamb, some beef, chicken heart. Uh, dessert. dessert. Uh, there's an interesting one that I think me and Seth haven't tried before. Yeah. Yeah. The one that I ordered, ji jia. It's called the chicken carcass. In China, they like to eat chicken chicken carcasses where they remove all the meat but then got some leftover meat on the bones there so they deep fry everything they seasoned it then after that they serve it just like that it's perfect to go with beer but the lazi tea looks damn good usually it's the yeah. la jiao bi ji duo oh, but yes, this one is yes, the ji yes. bi la jiao duo 
mayo, mm -hmm. PV oil. Quite soft though, I, I like that it's soft enough. It's mm. not like still very chewy. Some places the zuoto is a bit tough. Shall we do la zuzi next? Actually, all the things here seem very good for like pay Yes, it is. <laughs> la, it is. <laughs> Oh, hey, this is very good though. Mm. There's milk powder in the batter, I'm sure of it. I don't usually like when it's too ma. This one ah. has a good level of ma and la. Li li fen ming. Okay. Okay. Oh, mm. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I'll be, I'll be honest, yeah. a bit mushy. Yeah, mm. I think it should be drier. I think because they pack it, ah. Uh. Because they pack it, then the thing no, ah. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, I think today is like not salty enough. Not, not your usual. Yeah. Not my usual. Uh, so yeah. Why I like their fried rice usually is because <laughs> it's well separated. It's just simple egg and MSG and a bit of shrimp. I'm quite excited for this one, honestly. Fancy it, done. Yes. Yeah, not this one. This looks very Korean, yeah. Like, yeah, got the wow, raw garlic. I'm not sure if you can expect the same plating if you come here again, yeah. also. So it's a usual chuan chuan yes. kind of seasoning, lah. Yeah. Actually, I quite like their seasoning. Mmm. Beer food. Beautiful. Beer right. food. Beer food. Yeah. <laughs> the bread good. After drinking, okay, yes. then you come to the supper right, spot. Bread. Then you eat like hot butter sugar bread. Ooh, right. crispy. Faster separate. Like, I want to eat. I explaining, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's bad lah. You're so happy eating. No! Don't judge us eh! That's why today's episode is about after is... drinking supper spot yeah. right? That's why we're trying to... I'm, I'm trying to get to the point where I will appreciate this more. <laughs> Maybe we should drink more. <laughs> but at this point, it's literally gardenia or sunshine bread with uh, butter and sugar lah. Not sure you can eat the whole thing or not. But this is definitely not just a suck the spice thing lah. I think there's a bit of meat can yeah. like chew and spit mm. it out. I am quite neutral about this. Yeah, it's an experience. But mm. I mean, spices and all is pretty much the same as what they use for everything lah. This is the first time I actually eating this dish in uh, Singapore. So yeah. the last time I had it was in China. The way they do it in China, you can actually eat the bone even. So, so it's so candy. crispy to the point where yeah. you just eat the whole bone. Ah. Mm. So Tender. I like this. The lamb chon chon is usually as good. I remember we like the skin here. In fact, the gizzard tastes like custard. A bit, yeah. a bit, right? Yeah. Mm. A bit too chewy, yeah. yeah. Is it good only when we drunk? No, right? Now a bit self doubt, leh. How ah? Uh? Imagine after a few beers, this will taste better, lah. I am sure it's not the best chon chon out there. Might be the better chon chon at twelve a.m. <laughs> so we're gonna move off to the next spot. Bacho. Seth, 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 I want to show you something. Come, come, yeah, come. Yeah, this yeah. is actually <laughs> our favorite bar. Uh, our How I Met Your Mother bar. Why is that already getting stuck on the table? Yeah, la, la, of course, <laughs> la, we are VIP. V v <laughs> in my humble opinion, it's the best Guinness in Singapore. Look at how creamy at the, the head is. Part. You drink here so often, they gave you a plug on a table. Yes, it's not we put one. Yes. Why do you think it's the best Guinness? <laughs> Why is it the best in this? Flavor, not too sour, not too like malty, very balanced, creamy head. When it's very cold, the cream will stay on the glass after you finish the whole pint. They call it the stick, the Irish call it the stick. Stick. But yeah, it's just very easy to so drink. Like the cream doesn't like just disappear. Yeah, usually if you go other places and it's a bad Guinness, it's got very bubbly, like the hole's very big. And I think some places their Guinness also tastes a bit like tau yu, like soy sauce. Yeah. This one don't have that taste. Uh, again, disclaimer, this is not a paid ad. You all hang on and a lot. Eh? For food and drinks. For good food and good for drinks. Yeah, yeah, for food, food and drinks. Yeah. 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 I do that, la, but I don't know about Jordan. Yes. yes. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Last spot, we are at this Azhou. My favorite bar to me. Okay, but I'm a little bit sad right now because my uncle not here yet. Me and uncle have a very special connection. I think we enjoy our small little conversations in between. Maybe it's one sided, I'm not sure, but <laughs> so after long today I'll come here. Then after he will know if I before drink, come and eat, or after or in between. He can see one. I think quite obvious lah. If you drunk then you say say, of course he know you're after. Uh, I drunk or not drunk, I ate the same one. So then how the uncle can tell? Uh, that's why that's uncle's special. But other than that, 
uncle's kung fu different okay. one. No pork lard, surprisingly. No pork lard? Yes. But good. Very good. Wait, this is 24 hours. 24 hours. Ah. So that's why I got two shifts. Uncle say he will come by 7. I believe. If not, I common cry one. I think this guy eat okay. uncle's saliva too much. That's why he like that. Yeah. <laughs> so typically, 5-10, we play one hand each. La. Right, so now we got five, 3 people. We go by finger. Uh, basically, then now one cup is 8 sit half. Coffee shop classic. It's <laughs> hey jia pai. Drink responsibly. Four. <laughs> uh, eight. Four. Yes! Yeah! Zero to fifteen. Right, fifteen per minute. I thought my bar told me uncle come with me. Four. What the? Yeah! I think I just got a talent for this. Ah, uncle! Oh, okay. What's it? I go and order, I go and order. Nervously waiting for the bar to me. Then you take a bit of close up. Uncle got flare one. Uncle, sorry, ah. May you kanchong. Yeah, I'm good. I, I heard you haven't come ah. I, 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 it's very sad. How are you? Just wake up. Just wake up. <laughs> you normally do until what time ah, in the morning? 7 to 7. Ah. You makan already. Ah. Uncle, I also got new tattoo. Uh, eh? Yesterday I do. Uh, Ayah, my shirt too tight. My shirt very tight. My shirt very tight. <laughs> Come here, come here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Uncle. Mr. Balance. Wow. wow. I don't know where you went, guys. It took quite a while to order this. Uncle went toilet. I think Uncle a bit grumpy because he just wake up. I think they call him. Jalak, Damn, yawn. Yon. But it's okay. We are good. But Uncle no good. Your Uncle the way tao just okay. So one of the stories is like Sunday when I was here. I think I was a bit drunk then I admit lah. My fiance had, had a video of me having a moment with myself, looking like I almost want to cry at We will insert the video somewhere. I love uncle. Maybe uncle. <laughs> uncle don't feel the same. I love uncle. You want no pork oil? Ah? No pork oil. Your flavor is not bad. It's actually quite interesting they have pink fish cake, it's not something I see that often. I think a lot of the people or reviews you read online, they will say like, it's a very old school kind of bar chow mee. How is it? Do you like it or not? In your opinion. It's very savoury, but it's a bit on the saltier side. I actually do like higher vinegar. Do you like acidity? Okay. Just to balance it out. Okay, okay. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of my friends that I bring them here, they have the similar thought. Is this the normal? Today, a bit more kiam. I think it's a piece of you. Yeah la, you asked him to come down so early. Give <laughs> like, you more salt. Give you more salt. No la, we, we cool one, we cool one. Uncle is a very cool guy. Can I go? This is my death row meal. And it's a very close fight to Jollibee. There is no other meal that after I eat already, I got that feeling like. Can I go? Wow, this guy, he hungry or what? Bro, kiyama, salty ah. If you like a bit more savory, you like a bit more spicy one, come and try acho bar chow mee lah. But I, I think it's quite surprising that they don't use pork lard, but there's still that oiliness and the savoriness in the bar chow mee. What's your emotional attachment to this place? The theme of this episode, post drinking food. And to me, this is my favorite. It's my first time trying, first impression, uh, not the best. But will you give it a second chance though? I was drinking a bite and I'm drunk. <laughs> okay. I will come back here. Okay, okay later okay, okay. we come back again. Can I go? <laughs> so we have concluded our post drink intoxication thoughts to visit episode. What is your favorite? For me, I think I really, really like the Pai Chia Teochew porridge. Mm. I'm really not a big fan of uh, Teochew porridge, but the heavy yam uh, with yeah. the lime uh, thing and the braised food. Oh, really, really with my heart today. I have to agree with Dixon. I think that was my favorite of the day. Very comforting food. No, White House is very nice. Don't get me wrong. But it has to be the Ba Chow Mee. Unfortunately, today, a bit Salty. A bit salty, right? I like, it. I like it for the balance, but today the balance honestly is very off. Yeah. That's it for this episode. And remember to follow Meat Men as well. In the audience watching, if you have any suggestions on what kind of guest hosts you want to see or what kind of different themes you want to see on Food Finders, do let us know in the comments. Peace out. That's all 
for this episode. Yeah, Thank you. Right. See you. Right. If you want us to come back, also write in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> you all share also, uh. yeah, of, course yeah. of course, la. Of course, la. Drink responsibly. Bye. Bye. Yeah, having a moment now. <laughs>